What's going on with y'all, man? It's MD Mills, aka Ancient Wizard. I'm back again with another video for y'all. Um, we're gonna do three piles, but I don't have them laid out, pre-laid out or nothing. We're gonna do the little shuffle right now. Um, so yeah, this one is going to be okay. So we winging it. That's what that means. The roll. We're gonna roll it. You know what I mean? The gym just rent, uh, rolled on its own, so we're gonna roll it. We're gonna see what messages do we that we have for any of these piles. I plan on doing at least three. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know exactly what it's gonna be yet, but when you see the title, that's what it's gonna be. All right. So let's get it going. Let's first pull out your oracle messages, and we're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna try to make this short if I can. For those of y'all who can't hear me, I apologize if it's too low. If I'm speaking too low, I kind of got this uh, set up the old way I used to have it set up. If you watch any of my older videos, you'll see. So, what do we have for power one? Spirit, what messages do we have for power one? Got it to take these. Those are three. Spirit, what, what messages do we have for power two? Spirit, what messages do we have for power two? I'm going to take these. That's three of them. All right. Spirit, what messages do we have for pile three? Spirit, what messages do we have for pile three? And we got that one. Okay. That's, all right. We got stepping through. Stepping through something that also might resonate for pile three. But for right now, we're just going... We're just going to keep going until we get to the real messages, all right? So, Spirit, what messages do we have for Power 1? I'm going to leave a timestamp up here for whenever I start actually uh, doing your messages as well. So, if you if you want to skip this part, you definitely welcome, all right? Spirit, what messages do we have for Power 1? Spirit, what messages do we have for power one? Okay. That's one. Spirit, what messages do, do we have for power one? Spirit, what messages do we have for power one? Alright. Those are going to be for power one. What messages do we have for power two? Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have for power three? That's a lot. We're just going to take two. Maybe one more. All right. And let's pull some from the Hermetic Tarot deck. Spirit, what messages do we have for power one? Spirit, what messages do we have for power one? Okay, that's a lot. We're going to take two. Take two. Spirit, what messages do we have for power two? Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have for power two? We're going to take that. Spirit, what messages do we have for power three? Okay. Well, Spirit, what messages do we have for power three? That four of pentacles wanted to come out in the deck. So for power three, and then you got the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay. That may not resonate though. I got a feeling that that didn't have anything to do with these piles. So, all right, let's get this started. I'm going to move pile three and pile two closer to me. But we're going to focus on pile one, all right? We're going to focus on pile one. Pile one, this is your message. So, Let's 
excuse me, I had to take a sip of water. All right, water is essential. I'm telling you. So your oracle, mm, excuse me. So your oracle infinite, your oracle messages. My apologies. <laughs> the infinite. You got the infinite. You got beyond the mind, and you have home. So I'm getting that you are speaking up a little bit more as well. You got sun and water, you got abundance, and you got the fool. A brand new beginning may be taking place. Seven of swords, the last judgment, ten of swords with the sun of water. Okay. So with this, I'm getting that. Someone could have been deceptive um, and you are releasing deception energy and I'm getting it, you know, you, you, with, with this card, it looks like the lady in here is throwing her hands up, you know what I'm saying? And releasing that energy back to the divine. So, you know what I mean? The fact that it, the fact that it's landing and it's sitting like this, like. Like the deception, she's throwing it up and it's causing the last judgment. Like this is with the full card paired here. This is like listening to your intuition to release old things that may have not been in your best favor and taking a new beginning. And I also I'm also getting allowing the animals and the nature and, and other other beings to help you other beings outside yourself to help you you both of these cards have their eyes closed so i'm getting intuition is at a height right now not the height not the highest because how i feel honestly that intuition can get stronger better and higher but because I, I we are limitless beings so there's never a limit on us so with that being said, it's like you allowing to yourself to tap into yourself and realize that, hey, my connection with the divine is definitely an authentic one. I do not want to have any type of um, betrayal or backstabbing energy in, in something that I'm participating in or in something that, you know, I would invest in. So now I think, not even I think, but I feel and I'm listening to the guidance of the universe to allow me to have something new into my life. Things have changed and the judgment is being called with this horn, this, he blowing the trumpet. It's like the judgment is being called on anything that was deceptive for you to now have a new beginning. And that may lead to this three of cups energy right here, three of cups. It also could be a new beginning from constant three of cups energy as well with the ten of swords being here. But forgive me, y'all. This this is uh that's just an alarm. But with the ten of swords also being here, it's also letting me know. Okay, well, something is definitely over or it has completed. And it's like, it's no more betrayal or it's no more because you go from the seven of swords, the fool and then the ten of swords. Nothing, nothing is, you know, what I'm saying nothing is uh, still allowing it's allowing for things to. I want to say hurt you or. Every everything that is of a sword energy. Which I'm not saying anything is wrong with like, you know, the air signs or anything like that. But anything that's of a sword energy, basically, you know, fight in or any type of war, you know, that that is over with. Ten of swords. They can't do that no more. They can't do that no more. Nobody can wage war with you anymore or nobody can feel as though, you know, they're going to betray you or you're you're not going to feel betrayed anymore because now you're taking a, be, a new beginning from that type of energy. You know what I'm saying? This is mainly something that you're doing within yourself because you're going inside. So 
also here with this son of water. I don't, I'm not, I think that will be Prince of Cups. I'm not sure if it will be Page of Cups. It could be um, the different decks. They, you know, some of them have like, they have uh, the names different on them. So it's like they are equivalent to other, the traditional tarot decks. But at the same time, it's like, I know some of them, they can give you uh, multiple energies that are similar to each other that are not, that are not like the traditional tarot. You know what I'm saying? Usually with the traditional tarot decks, they're one way and that's what the energy is. You know, of course it could be interpreted, uh, interpreted uh, in a different way, but you know, that's just how the cards are made. So back to this, the son of water. With the son of water, I'm getting that it's like you allowing yourself to operate from a heart space. And when I say by heart space, I'm also getting the fact that it's stars in the background. You're healing your heart space. And so you're healing your heart space. You're allowing yourself to be a little bit more vocal with things. You're allowing yourself to speak up for yourself a little more. You're allowing yourself to, you know, uh, allow spirit to guide you and listen to what is it that they're telling you? Because that's what I'm getting from the blue energy. You're listening to what they are telling you. The divine is speaking to you right now. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they would come through with the blue energy, especially with the purple as well. But it's a lot of blue. You know what I mean? Throat chakra. It could be your throat chakra that has been affected. Because you see in this card, it's her throat that has like, where where the root is starting from, it's starting from her throat. You know what I mean? It, of course, it it has like it has a, a star here where this where this eye as well would be. So you could be somebody who who likes to protect yourself with um, charms around your neck. Yeah, you you could be some someone who who likes to put things around your neck and it boosts your energy. Like you can tap in from the necklaces that you wear and it, and it transcends above. You know what I'm saying? Like the energy, you can feel it at least starting from there and rising above, rising above. So wherever it is that you at right now, this point in life, you are starting to rise above, rise above that energy. And that's only because you have now, tapped into knowing that you have a new beginning with this ten of swords here you done with the third party type but it don't have to exactly be that it could also be that you done with player energy that's what i'm getting also you are allowing yourself to celebrate and allowing yourself to feel feel as though you can actually enjoy yourself. I'm getting that you are allowing yourself to uh, celebrate and, and and feel good with the universe. As well as there also could be a page of cups. I'm saying page of cups because it's a son, you know, sons and daughters, they're young. So it's like you also allowing yourself to be open to someone else offering you uh, some type of incentive of love. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that that also could cause an ending as well. It's like you're not going to shut off yourself to be a, a reciprocant of someone who would like to operate from a love space with you. You know what I'm saying? So... That's what I'm getting. That's exactly what I'm getting. And whoever this third party would be, it looks as though, because for some reason, I'm getting that it's two different energies. Like this, this, these two are the same person. So I'm thinking that that's what, this is you. You know what I'm saying? These two cards with this woman on here, these are the same person. But this one over here, they are not the same person. Because both of these two cards, this, both of these two cards, the images... These women have their eyes closed. One, two. Their eyes are closed. So they are intuitive, tapping into the divine. 
But this person has their eyes on you. They are looking at you. And they're pointing at their heart. They also could be going through some healing as well right now. But they are looking at you with this three of cups and then this page of cups. So it's like somebody has your attention. I mean, you have somebody's attention and that might bring that could lead to a celebration or it could it could lead to someone else being involved in your life. You know, just just wanting to love you, you know, o only time could tell, you know, how that goes. But love just being open to love, you know, what I'm saying not shutting it off. You know, what I mean, just because you just because someone has went through a betrayal does not mean that there's something or someone that could still allow you to operate in that heart space because with you tapping into the divine you having this connection with the divine it's like you you have done what you need you have done what you need to do and you are also doing what you need to do in order to be aligned with the universe and be also being aligned with the universe you shall not lack anything so you know even if that's a partner or a relationship, you know what I'm saying? As long as you're putting the relationship with yourself first and also with spirit, spirit is going to show up through many different things or different people. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times it's always a celebration. What do we do when we receive miracles? We always celebrate. All right. So that's what I have for power one. All right. So if it, if it resonated, like, share, subscribe, comment and i'll see y'all on the next one all right i appreciate y'all checking out my channel much love peace and positivity all right 100 so now we're gonna move to pile two pile two this is for y'all so we're gonna start with the oracle messages Vulnerability, evolution. Part two, I'm feeling like something is a little heavy with y'all. Y'all energy is a little bit heavier. Ten of Pentacles, the moon. Three of Wands. Ten of Wands. Okay. Six of Swords and Justice. Okay. This could, this honestly could be somebody dealing with Power 2. I mean, Power 1. So you got Vulnerability, Evolution. Hopefully y'all can see that. You got Vulnerability, you got evolution. And then you also have communication, co-creation. You know what I'm saying? So, all in all, I'm getting that. With this Six of Swords, it says Lord of Earned Success. But, so I'm getting two things from the Six of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles with the Six of Swords and the Moon being vulnerable. It's like... With the Ten of Pentacles is usually family. So it's like allowing yourself to be vulnerable and connecting with family as well. But if there is any secrets involved, you are moving away from that. And also your family could be helping you move away from secrets, but you are still going into the unknown because now it's time for evolution and evolution. We don't never, we not never, but evolution. It's like you, it's common to not know what lies beyond, you know what I'm saying? When you, when you evolve, no one knows what, what someone is going to be or become. And also with this evolution here, you you can notice that this woman is a mermaid. 
Like, so it go from dragon to mermaid. And then it says co-creation. So I'm getting that y'all could be aligning with y'all soul, tri soul tribe. Yeah. Y'all could be aligning with y'all soul tribe. As well as for some of y'all, I'm I'm hearing dreams. Y'all could be tapping in and um linking up with y'all partners and also with y'all uh y'all soul family and dreams. Whoever y'all are, y'all may have dragon DNA or fish DNA. Like this, this is definitely a mermaid. So you could have mermaid DNA, could be dealing with a mermaid. Dragonflies are significant. Green dragonflies to be specific. Uh, pink flowers. Starfish. Sea creatures. Jellyfish. Jellyfish, of course. And it's not just because it's on this photo. But it's because it is it's calling out to me more than usual. So something is on wheels. You got wheels going on. Also could be the wheel of fortune. But something is spinning. Because these are, you got a wheel here, wheel there, a wheel in the heart space. So something is like having a change of heart. But you are connecting to the divine energy and having a... It's like a communion ship going on with your star family as well. Star seeds. Y'all could be a star seed. Whoever you are, you are of an aquatic lineage. Y'all have an aquatic lineage. Now, let's go with this three, three of wands. And then the, you got the ten of wands. So... With this three of wands here and this exploration, I'm getting that it's like you are allowing to, you're allowing for whatever was dark to motivate you to explore possibly even wherever it came from. But most importantly, explore new territory. You're allowing it to let, allow you to transform evolution. Let it allow you. You're allowing it to al allow you to evolve. And with this communication co-creation right here with the Ten of Wands, it's like you are moving forward. You're taking everything that may have been any type of burden or any type of concern and you are moving forward with it. And that is justice. That is bringing you your justice. That is the scales being balanced as well. Because whatever it was or whatever it is that you are being nudged to leave from, it could be some of y'all leaving family members. It could be something. It could be a family concept, an idea, a traditional way of doing things. Y'all are leaving that. Or you could be encouraged to move to move towards something that may be may seem like it it needs more nurturing and caring right now. So for some of y'all, I'm getting that there is an energy. That it is time for, it is now time for you to add some type of nurturing and caring towards that. And that may be something different from what you used to or from where you've seen uh, a garden. It's kind of like this. You have been able to provide uh, fruits and and when I say fruits, I mean like you have been able to provide miracles and and uh, su sustainability. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stability as well in something. You know what I'm saying? You've you've allowed yourself to accumulate 
wealth or allow something to be successful. But now is the time that you move towards something that you don't know about. Hence, this would be the moon. You know what I'm saying? You're mo you're you're moving from that. Hold on just a second. It's just I use my flashlight in here. I don't have a light where I'm at, y'all. Cause darkness, darkness also is intuitive. So you could be like I said, you could also be using your intuition as well. But intuition, the moon also goes hand in hand with water. So it's like it's like you're going where you're most comfortable, which would be towards the water or would be in the water. You know what I'm saying? Where your feelings reside. You live in that. Some of y'all, y'all could be a water sign. I don't know exactly, but, you know, I'm. it's a lot with the moon card here and with this evolution and co-creation, because co-creation is like an intuitive card for you to even tap in with your ancestors. You have to be able to hear them. So, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely some water in here water sign with the starfish as well but all in all with 56 here 24 so that would be 8 80 then 2 and 1 which would be 101 which would be ultimately 11 this could be a twin flame. This could be. This could also be. Your angels contacting you, letting you know this. With 11 going on, you could be seeing 11, 11. 101. One on one. So this could be something that is like. Uh. One on one makes two. One on one makes two. So two. So with the two two here and two one twenty one here, you got the ten of you got the ten ten right here going on. Y'all could be seeing ten ten, two two two. Yeah, there's something that you got going on that. You will be in contact soon with communication, co-creation. You will be in contact soon or if not, you're in contact with someone who is, I want to say, who is approved of by your spirit guides. That's what I'm getting because they are all moving together. They are all moving as one with this communication co-creation there's three people in this card that's why i say y'all could be dealing with whoever is in power one as well because it went to three people like literally and here's the here's the bit the the wild part about it like literally and i'm going to flip this video so my apologies if this uh this these cards look upside down so i'm gonna just hold them like this right now but vulnerability you got vulnerability here then and and this is like a dragon this is like you know what i'm saying this is a dragon dracos it's got red going on in it you know what i'm saying like you're a reptilian and then you allowing yourself with you you allow yourself to be vulnerable because you know snakes are kind of vulnerable to evolve and now look at that instead of you being a just a snake and i'm not saying like you would be a snake or nothing like that being bad or deceptive but you allow yourself to evolve from a lower frequency or lower energy into a higher one activating your dna you still have you know what i mean those those scales but they turn into uh they've turned into scales of the water being more intuitive being more in tune allowing yourself to uh transform gracefully beautiful you know what i'm saying turning turning yourself into something that's beautiful 
And this this jellyfish would be more of a, a angel. The angels are helping you do this. Starfish could be someone who's a star or looked at as a star, or it could also be that you are healing as well. But I'm getting that you are being seen as a star, being seen as someone rare. You're just being seen as someone rare. Also, when I say that this is a mermaid, the thing, I'm going to tell y'all something right quick. You know, the Medusa, the real Medusa, is actually a jellyfish. Most people don't know that. But the real Medusa is a jellyfish. There is a, a jellyfish called the Medusa. And it's actually one of the oldest, one of the oldest jellyfish in the world. So that is very, very interesting. The fact that it's in this. And, you know, mermaids, you know, there's been ancient tales about them. I can go deep into that. But that's what I have for y'all. All right. Hope y'all um caught the message. And, and if you needed to, you know, reassurance, whatever it is that you're moving away from and that you're going into, this is divinely guided. You know what I'm saying? Like the universe, they got you. They with you with this decision. All right. So that's what I have for you. If it resonated, please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will be getting back to y'all as soon as I can. All right. I love y'all. Y'all stay safe, positive, and much peace. All right. 100. So now we got number, we got power number three. It's only one that came out with y'all. So what is that one? Unique gifts. 55. Definitely could be seeing 555. Got the star, got the five of cups, you got interference, you got the four of cups, and you got the king of cups. Let's see if I can move this, center it a little bit more. All right. So you got inter interference with the with the five of cups. Okay, so I'm getting that whoever this King of Cups may be, which is a water energy, they are the star. Their unique gifts could be disappointing others. But I'm getting that you also could be disappointed and what is being shown through others' unique unique gifts. And it's only because with the four of cups uh, with the four of cups interference, it's like it could be disappointing if whatever it is that is trying to interfere. It is not, it is not being reciprocated. Like when I say it's not being reciprocated, it's like, I'm not, I don't mean like, you know, they, they trying to interfere with you or nothing like that. I'm, I'm getting that whoever is trying to come in between anything, they are being like looked at as if they're, they don't really want that energy or they're being felt as though they don't really want that energy. Excuse me. That may be confirmation for something to come up. So something just came up. Um, it, and here's the thing about it. Whatever it is that's trying to interfere, this is eight of swords. This is air energy. Airs, I mean airs. Birds eat fish, especially if they were to be laid out like this. You would see a flock of birds, especially buzzards or vultures, gather around and start eating these fish 
a fish out of water is definitely is a, a disappointment because it shows that, you know, it's a lack of, you know, what, what vital life force for them, uh, for them, water is air, you know? So it's like being suffocated. You could have felt suffocated. Someone could have felt suffocated and it's like causing rejection with this four of cups. Um, it's like someone wants so much of another person's energy that it's like it's it's beginning to be looked at as if they doing the most or they doing too much. You know what I'm saying? So it's like with this four of cups, it says Lord of blended pleasure here. But I know in the traditional four of cups, it's somebody rejecting somebody. Now, it could also now for some of y'all. I'm getting with this Lord of blended pleasure. You're you're allowing yourself to receive both. Now, somebody may try to come and be interfering and that may be kind of a disappointment to you or someone else. And or they could be disappointed as well. Whoever is trying to come in is my biggest thing is when it comes to this blended pleasure, it's like. You could be disappointed in whoever this is. But you're still allowing yourself to pour into your cup, pour into, you know, the other cups that you have around. And you'll you allow yourself for them to pour into your cup and for them to you you encourage. I'm getting that you're encouraging them to pour their own for their them who is pouring the cup into themselves. Pour Well, pour the cup into you, pour the cup into themselves as well. You want them to. You want to blend both of the energies. They can they can do what they're doing and it won't it won't affect you in a negative way because you're gonna pour into your own cup. Because both of these, like if I set it here, it's like both of these energies would have some type of sustainability of life. Now at first it was a disappointment. So with this Scorpio card here, and then you got King of Cups, it could be this King of Cups that was disappointed, you know, with this star card here, because it's like, OK, they could be an influencer. They definitely could be healing. Like I'm getting healing from everybody who's watching this video. Hmm. That's very interesting. So. But it's not exactly that y'all. Well. Yeah, a good bit of people who's watching this video, y'all are healing through some type of phase. That's that's what this time is about anyway. What's going on in the ethers anyway. So I can I can dig it. But I'm also getting with this King of Cups, there's something that you do at nighttime that is allowing for your uh prayers or your conversations to be heard by the divine now there are birds and when i say birds you know they say birds of a feather flock together yeah but this bird is trying to like kind of interfere with what you have going on and it's not that it always have to be in a bad way but you know you might want to be careful or at least watch them closely because are they of your energy with this king of cups here and a bird, a bird is of air energy. So it's like you want to reevaluate, are they of your energy? Because with you being a water sign, you don't have to be, but King of Cups is a prominent uh is a prominent card here. So with you may possibly being, you know, of water energy, which would be, you know, you're caring, loving, kind, you know what I'm saying? You also you also like to uh, give, give your heart, you know, it's it's like wearing your heart on your sleeves type junk. It's like, you know what I mean? You, you charming. You also want to, you also want to uh, do what's best for someone, but you also know it, you can achieve a lot through love. You know what I mean? You, you balance with your emotions as well. It's like, do you want to uh, allow yourself to be swayed or taken it's like it's like a fish do you want to do you want to allow this this bird to take you where it lays 
you know what I'm saying, wherever it lays or wherever it resides, you know what I'm saying, this this bird, it's only air there. Ain't no water there. You know what I mean? So it's like, where's the water? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you want to, you kind of want to know for sure that you'll be able to get water or get what it is that sustains your life from whoever it is that's trying to interfere with this air sign. Because this is this is very strong water energy. You got King of Cups, Four of Cups, Five of Cups, Disappointment. You know what I'm saying? Then you got the Star card, which has a is also connected to water as well. Well, my fault. Let me hold it like this because I know I'm gonna flip the video. But yeah, like and then with this being here, she's transparent, translucent with his unique gifts. So it's like with this, I'm getting this is the the mother of water. Unique gifts. Allowing yourself to tap into yourself in order to express your gifts. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a water queen. Maybe even a queen of cups. So you you are tapping in and I'm getting that it is, you have the attention of a queen of cups as well, with you being the king of cups. So it's like you have the attention of who it is that you actually match the energy with, but there also could be a disappointment when I'm, I'm getting whenever y'all actually communicate what has been going on. I'm getting this like past. I'm getting nice past energy. Whenever you communicate what's going on, you might feel disappointed, but something will be rejected and things will still go in your favor. It may be rejection or, or it just may be uh, ignoring something. It doesn't have to be completely. For some of y'all who actually want this person who may be trying to interfere, you know, it's like. It's like. You know that, you know, what I'm saying you could take flight or, you know, that you resonate with them in some type of way, like because I'm also looking at this King of Cups, he got a, a wing on his back. He got one wing. So it's like you are something like that or that could have been something that you have connected with for quite some time. But. You're looking forward. You're looking away from the, the whole air energy, the whole bird type thing. You're like you're looking into Kundalini energy, raising your vibration. You know, what I'm saying uh, aligning yourself, being one because snakes are highly, highly intuitive. You know what I'm saying? So it's like he's fa he's looking at the snake. Now, we we have already we've already discovered that snakes have like especially like cobras. They have a pineal gland, which would be. It's like a gemstone almost in a way. So they are super connected to the divine. You know what I'm saying? One one thing about the ancient times, the, the snake is actually connected to the dragon. And the dragon is uh, highly sacred. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it, it's, it's all about, like, research and, you know what I'm saying, history and what we valued as a people. But, yeah, like... You don't have to be like I said, you don't have to, you know, reject this person. But I'm getting that that could cause a disappointment or it's that you are disappointed in this person and it's causing for you to not really want to give to this energy as much. Maybe it's just as much, you know, what I'm saying that you that you used to. Do I have another? Can I get another card for uh, for this four of cups? I get another card for this four of cups, please, spirit. Can I get another card, please? 
Six of Wands, though. Victory. Yeah. So it's the Illusion, Daughter of Air, and Three of Wands. So with you, see, and that's the Seven of Cups. So I'm getting with this Four of Cups and then the Seven of Cups, you definitely could be a air, I mean, a water sign and be dealing with an air sign. You could be an air sign dealing with a water sign. But with this Four of Cups and this illusion here, I'm also getting that there are other options that you may be looking at. And it's like you're close examining what someone is actually giving you. With this Daughter of Air here, I'm getting that you are like laser I focus on you not I'm not saying that you focus on the cups but it's like you paying close attention to what these cups are actually um, having in it you know what I'm saying what these what these offers actually uh, like uh, behold you know what I'm saying and with this exploration here with this king of cups it's like it may disappoint you or disappoint someone else. It ain't gonna disappoint you because you got the six of wands here. But it's going it might be disappointing for someone else to see you take off or for someone else to see you connect with something else. Because with this star here, that's a crazy energy, but it's like with this three of wands here, this is a spaceship. A spaceship is also like anything space is also like Aquarian too. So it's like I'm I'm getting that you could be going detached, going going into uh just individualism. You know what I'm saying? Like you very caring and nurturing, but you also are focusing on yourself as well. What is it that makes you happy? You know what I'm saying? Like that's what you're doing. So whatever it is that you got going on when it comes to this. I'm seeing that you're going to be successful with the six of wands here. You know what I'm saying? The ten of swords. You know what I mean? Something is over. And you got the two of wands as well. So it's like you're going to be able to partner up with something or someone. It's, it's going to be some type of victory because of you just making sure you know what it, whatever it is that you want out of whatever it is that someone wants to offer you. You know what I'm saying? It's like being sure, narrowing it, narrowing down all your options until you have one that you know. You know what I'm saying? That's that's actually going to provide you with what you need to sustain yourself. So that's what I have for you. I love y'all. If this resonates, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll get up, I'll get up with y'all on the next one. All right? Peace, positivity, 100. I feel anointed. It's going to bring out whatever you keep in dormant. I work for money, now money work for me. You my love,